Question 15. Express this in partial fractions. Ah, back to sanity. So, there's two parts there, so I can have a over x minus 1 plus b over the first of that repeated root plus c over the whole lot squared. Which means that multiplying throughout to get rid of fractions from both sides, so multiplying everything by x minus 1 times the bracket squared would have a requiring the whole of the square bracket, b requiring, oh, where's b going? b requiring the x minus 1 and the remaining part of the bracket, c just needing the x minus 1, having the whole square bracket already, and that would just be 1. And it's just a case of how I want that out. I'll use some knockout values. So I'll just say, let x equal, what we say, get a, no, we'll get a first. Let x equal 1. That means you've got 3 squared is 9a equals 1, which means a equals a ninth. Oh, very nice. Let x equal negative 2. So they'll, they'll go, and then I've got negative 3c equals 1. So c is negative a third. Ah, such nice numbers. And that's the knockout values going. So I'll just compare some terms. Compare the x squared terms. So to make x squared, I've got an ax squared and a bx squared. So a plus b, and there's no x squareds over there, must equal 0. But a was a ninth, which means b must be negative a ninth. Right, so there's the first part. But it did say express it, didn't it? So I've got 1 over x minus 1, x plus 2 squared equals, just feed that line, so it's 1 over 9x minus 1 minus 1 over 9x plus 2 minus again 1 over 3x plus 2 squared. That's the first part. Now, part B, so I've taken a note of that again because obviously it must be relevant to part B. Obtain the general solution of that differential equation. Well, you can spot straight away, that's going to come across, it's going to be an integrating. So, first step would be divide by that. So I've got dy by dx minus 1 over, just to identify it more clearly, equals, again, dividing by 1, just gives me 1 over x plus 2 squared. Now, integrating factor. To get this integrating factor, I would take this part, this negative 1 over x minus 1, and integrate it. So that's going to produce negative ln of x minus 1, which is ln of 1 over x minus 1. I don't like these ones, they look so much like 1s, which means my integrating factor is going to be e to this integral. So it's e to the ln of 1 over x minus 1. So that's just going to be 1 over x minus 1. So there's the integrating factor, 1 over x minus 1, which means if you multiplied everything by 1, 1 over x minus 1, this would produce the pattern for the product rule. This would produce, if I multiply it, 1 over x minus 1 dy by dx minus 1 over x minus 1 squared y equals 1 over x minus 1 x plus 2 squared boom there it is, comes in. This part produces the product rule for the derivative, the differentiation of 1 over x minus 1 times y, because that now is the derivative of that. So I could say that would go back to that. So what I've got is 1 over x minus 1 times y, <coughs> integrating it back up to the product, would be the integral of 1 over x minus 1 x plus 2 squared dx. So that's that. That was it differentiated. This is it integrated back up to the way it was to begin with. Right, now I've just got this part. So I've got, I'll just make that 1 over y over x minus 1 equals, and obviously I'm going to split that up into that. The integral of, and now I just tediously copy all these parts down into this space oh, over 3 times x plus 2 squared. Now, x to the negative 2 is going to go back up to x to the negative 2, I mean x to the negative 1, and then divide by that negative 1. So differentiating, I'm going to have this. y over x <coughs> minus 1 is going to be a ninth of ln, I'm just going to put that right up, I don't like these straight brackets, and sort it out afterwards, uh, minus a ninth of ln x plus 2, and then this part, that's going to go back up to power negative 1, so it's just going to be x plus 2, but divide by that negative will make that a plus, 1 over 3 times it, 
plus C. I can tidy this bit up a bit more. I've got ninth of the two logs, and the two logs can join to make a quotient, so I've got X minus 1 over X plus 2, plus a third of 1 over X plus 2 plus C so far. Now, what can I do with that bunch? Let's go back. So the final part to get in the form of Y equals some bunch of X's, Oh, we'll be multiplied by that. So what have I got? Everything times x minus 1. So I'll have 1 ninth of x minus 1 ln x minus 1 over x plus 2 plus x minus 1 over 3 times x plus 2 plus c times x minus 1. And I think that would do. What a horrible expression. Unless I made a big mistake somewhere.